Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rennie. If you're not, welcome back. Surprise, we are in California once again and we literally just got here. I came again with my mom, we did a little girls trip. She's actually getting a massage and I am very, very ticklish. So I don't get massages because uh, I will literally laugh the whole time, but totally fine my mom I dropped her off like five minutes away from me and I came to a Salvation Army that is right here I looked at the reviews online and its reviews are like whatever but you know let's go in and let's see what we can find I'm always looking for a good deal and something super cute I actually I have a thrift wish list right now I'm looking for like a mini dress like halter, v-neck type mini dress. I'm open to any type of print, um, even solid color. I'm like, um, I would have to see the color, honestly. And then I'm also looking for bottoms. I was packing for this trip and I realized that I don't really have a lot of good bottoms. I have like one pair of solid jeans and I have some olive pants that I wear all the time that have an elastic waistband. But other than that, like, I don't really have any other pants. I want some type of cute pants, cute jeans, skirts and shorts. Some like little closed toe kitten heels. Definitely open for something like that. And some flats, any like super cute flats. So let's go inside and let's see what we can find. We're starting off in the shoes, guys, and these little purple platforms caught my attention. They're from Zara, but they wanted $40 for them, so definitely had to put those back. The upside of this store is that they were a bunch of Zara new tag shoes and clothes, and I'll show you the clothes in a bit. But I actually saw these little yellow heels, and I thought these were so cute. They're perfect for an end of summer shoe. They have the chunky little heels, so they're comfy, but too much again so I did leave those behind I found these new little orange wedges those are pretty cute but they were really tiny so I did leave those behind too and these are the perfect date night shoes I love the green with the little rhinestones they were so cute
the shoes were just a little bit messy but these were pretty cute i do like a clear heel i don't know not everybody does but these booties i saw actually new a tag in zara and i remember gonna that i was gonna buy them there but they were too much and then i saw them here and i was like oh if they're like 20 bucks i'll get them they wanted almost like 40 dollars for them so i did end up leaving those and i could not find the second shoe i saw these adidas and i'm looking for some sneakers but they were missing laces and there was only one shoe so that was a little bit of a bummer and in this store they have men's shoes women's shoes and kids shoes all mixed together on these last two aisles so i looked through the shoes i didn't find anything else a lot of things a lot of the shoes weren't together like the pairs weren't together so i did end up leaving that section and i decided to go into this section because this was this is the men's section and this was the closest section to the clothes so i was like all right let's go in here and i went to go look at the long sleeves because it gets a little chilly here in cali at night so I wanted to find something that I could just kind of put over, you know, my pants that I was wearing currently.
looking for a top like this because I have this outfit pinned on my Pinterest and it's a midi skirt with a sequin top. I think it's so like cute and put together. And honestly, you can just put on your favorite skirt and a sequin top and you look like you're ready to go. I was just making sure there was no flaws and I was checking to see what the price was because what they charged me at the end was not what I thought would set on the signs. Prices were different. Oh, and then I found a matching one. This is a pink one, but this one did have flaws on it. It was missing a bunch of little pearls from the sleeve and the hem, and it had missing sequins on the front and the back. And the shoulder pads in this one were seriously shoulder padding because they were just way too much. So this one I did end up leaving. And then I found this little white top. I was like, ooh, this is so good. I thought I was gonna be so excited to wear this later on this trip. It was this Zara like white cropped top with puff sleeves and it had like this embroidered floral detail on the front. It was so cute and it was green tag. It was marked at like 25, I wanna say. And I thought she was gonna give me the discount on this, but unfortunately she did not. So I did end up leaving this because I did not wanna pay $10 for this top. This is a cute little jacket. It was a micro suede, but it was a three quarter sleeve. So I did end up leaving it, but I do like that micro suede fabric. I have been on a juicy kick lately and I've been finding all kinds of juicy stuff and I thought I hit the jackpot again, but I did not. It had a serious stain on the front, so I did end up leaving this, but this was a juicy and Forever 21 collab, so I didn't feel so bad that I left that one behind. Okay, who else had these little crinkly tops? I definitely had a few. <laughs> How cute is this? Look at the crop top. Look at those sleeves. Look at the polka dots. I should have taken that. I don't know why I didn't take it. I should have picked that up. I actually just got a knit top that's like that, but it's cropped and it's very cute. Can you believe it? I found a third sequin top, guys. I really wanted to take this one. It was black and I love black, but it was missing so many sequins on the front and the back, on the arms. So I did end up leaving it because I don't know how to fix things like that. So I was like, I'm not gonna put the time into it, unfortunately. I wanted this shirt so bad when I was in middle school. I should have picked this up just as like a nostalgic pickup. This little Zara top is kind of cute. Actually, I'm kind of indifferent about it. I like what it has going on, but I don't know if I like it all together. Like the floral, the peplum, the rhinestones, maybe too much for me. This kind of top was cute. It's like a basic cute top. Okay, this I regret not picking up. It's this little like button up vest. Um, I think I didn't get this because it was too big, but I do have this pinned on my Pinterest and I would have loved to pair it with like some trouser pants. Honestly, I could have probably even worn it with the green pants that I'm wearing now. This little fuzzy top was really cute but I'm just worried about the washing of the top. 
Okay, this I am indifferent about, okay? I like the pat I like the floral pattern. It's giving Y2K, but I don't know I, I just don't know how I feel about it. It's like cute, not cute. Um, oh, this top I did end up taking. This is a fourth and reckless new with tag one shoulder top. It's a knit, it's like a tight knit top. It's very cute. And I think she actually charged me like $2.99 for that top. Okay, this blazer right here, I showed my mom this clip and she was like, we need to go back to get this. And I was like, mom, I'm never going back to that Salvation Army. I'm sorry. Who doesn't love a good tweed moment? This Ralph Lauren top was cute, but I just think it just was too plain for me as I'm wearing a plain black tank top. <laughs> See, another cute vest. I like this mustard colored. I think this would have been such a good addition to my closet, but too much. Okay, that shopping trip was over. Um, honestly, the reviews are not wrong. Literally, it looks like it's a Zara outlet in there, but not even like a good clearance price. Like everything is $19.99 for like the tiniest tank top like this that I paid at, this is a Zara tank top that I got at Zara and I paid $7 for it. It's marked at seven on the original Zara tag and they're selling it for 20 bucks. I was like, how does that make any sense? And I left that blue bag. She was charging me like 20 bucks for it. And I was like, no, there's not even a brand in it. So I did get two things. Um, I think this top is gonna be for me. It is very, very cute. It's fourth and reckless. It's new with tags. It's a one shoulder knit top. I really like this. I might actually wear that now. And then I got the sequin top that I showed you guys in the thrift. And in total, I paid $7.98. Um, if I was to rate this store one out of 10, I'm giving it like a four. Mm. You had to look for this thrifted stuff everything was Zara. The girl that was helping me, I was like, is like the Zara like a straight donate to you guys? Or like, are you guys buying from Zara or something? Like, why is there so many Zara pieces? And she's like, this place is called Salvation Army. And I was like, okay, I was just asking, but whatever. <laughs> so not gonna come back to this one. I'll still link, link it in the description for you guys, but I think we can find something better. Um, I still have some time before my mom's ready and I found a Goodwill that's on the other side of the freeway and it's like five minutes away, it's not a big deal. So let's go to that and fingers crossed we can find something good there. Okay, we are here and I have actually been to this um, Goodwill before. It is good, I do like it. They have really good stuff and um, yeah, all the stuff from before. Let's see if I can find any bottoms or any cute mini halter dresses. Um, fingers crossed this is gonna be a good one because um, the last store left a bad taste in my mouth. But let's go figure out if this one's gonna be good. I think we have like 25 minutes. Let's go in there, run in there, see what we can find. Mm -hmm. 